I think there is a role for traditional broadcasters to play in esports. I think they're still figuring out what that role is at the moment, um, because at the moment, the online platforms like YouTube, Twitch, even the social media um, platforms like Facebook and Twitter, that's where the core esports demographic is. That's where the audiences are. Um, uh, TV broadcasters have ex dabbled in this space a little bit in recent years. Um, they've, they've looked at some of the tournaments, documentaries, you know, interviews with some of the players. Uh, I think there is a role for them to play. They need to make sure they're online, mm. uh, so BBC Three, and uh, doing, producing interesting content that isn't on Twitch and those online platforms. So yeah, they might want to look at things outside of live tournaments and more at panels and documentaries and you know inside the life of um, top Britain's top esports player, you know Ryan Hart or Spencer Ealing, the FIFA player. So, uh, content like that could be interesting. I'm sure IBC will have uh, a focus on you know the increased convergence and crossover with digital, online, broadcasting, um, and also esports. You know, I'm excited to see esports uh, having a platform at IBC for the first time this year as traditional broadcasters look to get into this space and uh, esports specialists look to, um, you know, broaden their, their skills and, um, and, and find out more.